Hey guys, this is uh, Diego Gonzalez from MindlessPaint.com and I'm streaming today doing some automotive paints. I just want to make sure this is actually working real fast and get this going. So if you're just checking me out and tuning in with me, I am doing a Lilo and Stitch custom dash panel. Make sure is that working? All right, cool. So hey guys, thanks for checking me out. Uh, this is Diego Gonzalez from Manos Diego Diablo, actually from DinosaurPanel.com. And today I'm doing a Lilo and Stitch uh, panel for a customer. And what this is is like a Jeep part. It's the Jeep Dash. So let me uh, get this going real fast. Blah, blah, blah. All right, cool, here it goes. Turn this down. There you go. I'm not really hearing my own voice. It's kind of weird. All right. So what this guy, uh, what the customer wanted was a stitch driving in the Jeep. So this is a custom studio stitch design for his daughter. So that's really cool. I'm excited to kind of really do a good job with this too for him. And what color do I want to use, actually? Am I using black first? Let me see. Da, da, da. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Um, actually, cool. And that's the Jeep. The picture of it. Um, so I'm going to use a black real fast. Is this sepia? No, black. Here it goes. And thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. And come check out. Check check the stream out with me. I am actually giving away this hat, which is a cool stitch. Awesome, thank you for sharing, I appreciate it. So what I'm doing right here is adding stitch kind of hanging out the car. And let me use spray adhesive so I can spray it down. It'll stick really well. So any of the airbrush guys that are following me, I'm doing that real fast. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put them like right here. And the guy that actually did this, uh, wanted me to do this, commissioned me to do this, actually drew out a cool picture. Let me turn this down. He's actually a pretty good artist, so that's kind of cool. I was talking to him for a little bit. All right. So I'm outlining this template of stitch for his face. I'm just doing it for stitch. I'm going to freehand the rest of it, but I kind of want to get a good idea of where it wants to be right now, where the design goes. So see that right there? And it comes out really nice, really crisp. I love that thing, those stencils, you know, so if you guys want any and you're an airbrush artist, hit me up. I'll make some for you. I sell them. So how's it going, Spray? Hey, it's doing good, man. Hey, how's it going, Chris Astro? Hey, how you doing, bro? doing good and then I want to add to do hey thanks Brenda hey CJ I miss you uh, being small oh yeah uh, I don't do it too much anymore I might do this summer we'll see thank you guys so now I want to add a blue and this is actually a cerulean blue this is actually my favorite blue I don't like saying the word cerulean I don't know that's cool all right so adding a blue in here And I'm using the Iwata HPCH airbrush, and I love this gun, it's super great. I use it for all the high detail stuff, so I'm gonna tune it down right there. And I wanna get really in the detail, so I'll take off the nozzle cap and um, start working on this. A little fur on them, kind of look kind of furry. And the pressure? Does that look too low? Well? 
All right, and the background's gonna be like a galaxy effect. So he had a kind of an idea of a drawing he drew me. And I wanna make sure I get that pretty accurate. And I'm gonna have to hop off screen because this is a little too weak of pressure. That'll work. All right, I'm back. That works. That will work. I'm really neurotic when it comes to like the size, the pressure, all these little things make up how well the last final composition comes out. So it's really good to, you know, to make sure you want everything working really well. This color is almost done with, so I want to mist it out here just to get the background. And the background is going to be like a galaxy effect. I don't want to go over this drawing. Forget that drawing. I'm done with the drawing. So right there. And then I want to add a little bit of purple. This is actually uh, magenta. So I'm going to add a little bit of magenta to the background. And you'll see it starting to merge. And it's kind of combining with the blue, so the magenta makes like a nice purple. Hey, what's up, John? Hey, Ryan. Hey, Angela. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for joining me. And if you're just checking me out, I am doing a cool uh, kind of Lilo and Stitch. This is the panel for inside of a Jeep. Like, I think it's like the glove compartment part. So I want to get the background painted really well. And I actually have a little picture right here, a little thumbnail, kind of sketch. Cool, painting that in. Stop moving. Right there. All right, so I'm adding this kind of pinkish red color in there and I'm fading it down and it's gonna be like a mountain scene kind of. So let's do that first before I get too deep in here. Check out the sketch right here too. So this is the sand, and this is actually the lightest color I'm working with right now. And I'm gonna deepen and darken it up, so don't worry uh, when you see it like this. Uh, the paint's cool that you can always layer more on top. You know, like the lightest color is the light, don't worry about that. And that'll give you your base. So always think of terms if you're painting uh, highlight shadows um, and then the base coat. <laughs> My son would love the hat. Awesome. Hey, thanks for Christina for uh, joining us. Tasha, all you guys, man. Appreciate it. So I'm adding this little dusty kind of road underneath him. And there's going to be like a wolf here. I mean, this thing is pretty intense of a scene. And hopefully I can pull it off. All right. A little light right here. There you go. Do do do. Okay, so uh, I want to add more of that brown in there. And actually, this is a uh, detailed Driscoll tone. And if anybody's watching me, I'm using the Createx color um, matrix system. 
So you can kind of like work along if you're doing checking that out too. Hey Josh, hey, what's up, man? Thanks for joining me. And if you're just checking me out, I am doing a dash panel for the inside of a Jeep Wrangler. The guy is like pimping it out. He's like doing like all this custom stuff to it. So I want to make this super dope for him because it's for his daughter and it's a gift. And uh, he's a painter. He does it like a, on the side, kind of like uh, auto paint. And I want him super stoked. I want to do such a good job that he comes in buys more stuff from me. <laughs> and that's the goal, right? So, I mean, I even like to paint all the little parts here that aren't seen, you know? Like, this is not gonna be seen, but I'm still gonna, like, kill it, you know, do a good job down there. Oh, hey, thanks for coming in, Angela. I appreciate it. You rock. You've been putting out great artwork. Awesome. Thank you, Vanessa. That'll go good with my daughter's Stitch T for Disney for a few weeks. Disney, man. Awesome. I love Disney. Uh, where are you guys staying at? Last time I stayed at the Animal Kingdom and then uh, uh, Pop Century. I didn't get to go to... I want to stay at the Art of Animation. And it's always bugs and I don't have a chance. So that's cool. I like that color. Keep that good, that's good right there, like that. So, <clears throat> I like how this the color combination's going now. So I wanna mess with the, maybe the Jeep next, just to lay it in there. The next color would be, actually, let me, let me use this blue, because I really like it. Uh, the next color I'm gonna use is a Laguna Blue. I'm gonna flush out the color right here so it doesn't mix with that brown. And it'll be like a, a brown blue. All right. Getting serious now. Get the serious face on. All right, so that's good. And what I'm doing here is, let me kind of tilt it over so you can see it is I'm misting in a little bit of that blue and intermixing it with, with these little light strokes with, with the pink and then the other blue, just so it gives it some variation. Coming in here with Stitch again, and I have another picture, I don't know if you can see it, actually, uh, he's right here. Oh, right here. Is this a good setup right there? Okay, hopefully it won't fall. So the stitch is right there chilling. Bam, throw that in there, maybe color his fur a little bit. And then I'll come back and refine everything. What did you do? My son will blow this out of Christina. Oh, awesome, man. Cool. Thanks for checking out my ch uh, my stream. I appreciate it. Uh, and all you guys coming in, appreciate it. Like, share, all that stuff that helps my work get out there. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Um, all right. Fix that. Some blue in there. Some blue in here. Some blue on the side. <laughs> Going a little blue crazy, all right? Whatever. But get the side, if you're ever doing art and you know, you're painting, make sure you get the side of the canvas side of everything. It just looks better. You don't have to paint it, it's not gonna be seen, but if you hang it up or it does pull out or parts like that, well, it does get seen, so I guess that is really important. So now is the next step and I'm painting part of the Jeep. And I wanna pull that up here. This is a terrible picture, they're printed out crappy, but whatever, it'll work. Um, so I wanna add some reducer to this right now. First of what I want to do is add some of this Intercoat Clear. So this Intercoat Clear is a mixing agent and what it does is hardens the layer in between and it also makes it shoot good. It's very important. Let me mix it up with a little mixing kind of thing. Da da da, mixing the red paint. And red's like the trickiest color because it's such a thick pigment. So pigmented. So I'm always 
messing with that color and not getting any problems, but it's shooting good now. So I'm just dusting it in there and I'm really just making sure I get all the areas correctly painted. Driving a shotgun in the front. I put this bar up here, just a little bit. A little bar up there. We box out this area, and it's really light now, and it doesn't really look like anything. But what I'm doing, and this EDM music, dude, it's totally giving me a headache. All right, next song, next track, man. Nope. Start from the beginning. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Oh, thank God. Okay, I can deal with this. That's cool. Alright. Man, this is like hard to concentrate, huh? Okay, uh, adding the red. Some more red. So, this is gonna build up in tiny layers, and that's why when you do it, it looks kind of pink at first. But then you paint more and it gets builds up the red. I, I'm, so what I'm doing is aiming for like full coverage of the color. And then I can flesh out and build out the detail from there. And that's how I like to paint. Um, And at the same time, I'm kind of freehanding it as I go. So I'm feeling out the painting, so I'm kind of not making too definite of shapes until I commit later. You know. You know what guys are? They have a problem with committing. You know. Ha ha ha. That's my joke. That's my joke today. My funny game is not on right now. Alright. Building a red there. And that's cool. Uh, but to do black, white, and I'm seeing the colors. I talk to myself a lot. I'm like black, white, so I know what color to use next. All right. So there's red in the Jeep, and this is a cool tip I want to show you guys. Hey, what's going on, Billy Bones? Hey, Chris Astro, how's it going? Everyone, PM Tina. Okay, cool. I'll check it in a minute. So I'm going to add some of that red into the mountain. Mountains don't have red in them, but if the sun is coming down, it does have that glare. And what that does, it uh, kind of brings the painting and uh, brings it all together. It pushes that tone all the way through. So it's that little gleam of a red tone. Maybe add a little bit of red in his nose. Maybe I'll add a little bit of red in his ear. On the side right here, some red. You know, you can't see it. Side right here. Finish it off. All right. All right, that's cool. All right, so then it's, so now it's gonna get brown, and then it's some black, and then it's gonna get really sexy because you're gonna see everything. It's gonna look really nice once I start doing that. Sepia. I want to use a deep bur burnt umber. This is going to give a darker, dark, darker, darker, deeper brown tone. For sure. Okay. So, what I'm doing here is just deepening these areas. And let me use the blow dryer because when the paint builds up, it gets really thick, right? And when it gets too thick, you know, it starts pulling and puddling. And that's a big problem in the paint, paint world, the custom paint. All 
All right, so that's pretty decently dry. There you go, I can see a little better now. So I'm doing this little, little strokes, right? And I'm building them up. So if you guys know how to paint hair when you airbrush like this, same thing, I'm hatching these little grooves to the mountains. And this little subtle groove gives it that cool detail when you finish it. And it, that gives it like kind of like that wow factor. Because then you have depth in it and then dimension and it's not so flat anymore. Hey, Crystal. Hey, thanks for dropping an emoji. I like that one. All right. So if you guys are just joining me, I appreciate it. And what I'm doing is painting a Jeep, um, the interior of a Jeep. This is like the dash panel. Uh, I think it's the one above or by the glove compartment. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, it's definitely a panel in the front section. I'm not sure if any of you guys have Jeeps. Maybe you guys probably know, you can see it, and you probably can uh, tell what it really is, what part of it is. Okay, so that's good right there, I like that. Maybe add some more in here. And so, I used a brown white, right, but you can, you can hear my speech impediment. When I was little, I would have, I'd say the bird ate the worm. When I talk really fast and I get excited, it starts coming out. It's just a white, it's a white. Okay, so now you have to add, uh, add this darker tone. But this is actually a brown. But on here, it's a deeper color. It's just like a darker red. But it's more saturated. Alright, that's cool. And then some black. Yeah, yeah, Billy. I'm using uh, Createx colors, uh, the Wicked brand, because it has automotive resin that hardens in there. So I like using that. So that's there, right? So what I'm doing now is going to I'm going to use this cool uh, stencil I made. And let me see the camera if you can see this. So see that right there? This has like that texture on it. So when I place it right here, it creates all the texture in the mountain. Gives it that crazy, sick kind of dimension. There you go. So all that rock is awesomely formed with the um, darker colors and it's just building up. It's building up and building up. And that's what gives the painting like all that life, all that dimension. I'm a huge, huge fan of doing working like that. So I used that original uh, burnt umber, right? And then I added a couple of drops of black to it. And what that does is it'll deepen the tone of the painting. dry
That's good. So let me add a little reducer. It's kind of warm. The temperature here actually, it's like warm and humid here because it just rained. So that always, that also affects the way your paints uh, combine the paints mix. Alright, let me add some more black, a few drops of black in there. There we go. Let me add some more of this uh, inner coat to make it shoot smoother. Hey, thanks, Shana. Hey. Thanks for joining me. And if you're just checking me out, I'm painting a panel inside a Jeep Wrangler. So the guy, like, literally tore out his dash and, like, gave it to me, uh, which is pretty cool. And he's doing it for his daughter. Uh, and it's kind of like uh, this big project he's working on. So I want to make it super cool, super dope. So. He is, he likes it, she likes it, all that stuff. I'm really excited to give this to them. And this black right here is tinting it a uh, shade browner. And there's a little bit of the original brown and then the first base coat, if you were checking out when I first started, and then now this is all the multi layers on top of it. Now I'm painting in part of the tire. Then I want to add some reducer and some more black to this really fast. And I shake up the colors so the pigments from the bottom settle up and gets gets in the paint better. Because if you don't do that, they'll just all be watery and look like garbage. And you don't want that, man. You want a good painting. All right. That's cool. This is cool. El Lobo. So right here I'm painting this black and I have a, like a wolf that's going to be up here. That's cool. So I'll put that black right there for the background. And I'm going to fade it from the top too because this is going to be like a starry kind of night theme. Let me get all in here. All around it. Cool. Now that black is really bringing out more of the depth and dimension and everything. That's good. All right. 
So now I'm working straight off the photo of the Jeep, letting all the other layers dry previously, and that's very important to do. Just so you don't overpaint it, you know, you don't want to make it too like um, like soggy or what or whatever. You know. Alright, fill this little tire under here, because you need four tires. Right now we only have one. We're two tires now. Alright, so let me add some more of that inner coat clear again. I love this stuff. It, it really makes the shoot nice and smooth. And I want to mix it really good because I think I didn't mix it too well last time in the cup. So let's do that right now. What's up, John, man? Thanks for joining me. Jessica, Cindy, Jane, all you guys, Amanda. Appreciate it. And if you're just checking me out, what this is is a G panel. An interior. Uh, where like the glove box is. I think it's part of the glove box. So, he brought me this part and uh, the custom, custom painting it for his daughter. He's doing a huge project, really cool dad. I mean, that's a cool dad. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna paint your entire Jeep for you. I'm like, that's pretty dope. Props to him, for real. All right. So I'm painting that color. Let me add some reducer. I really want these colors shooting super smooth. dash lines for the Jeep. Jeep has this like triangle cover on the front. Actually, I don't know. I think he said without it. It's really without it, actually. It's slowing down real fast. Let me bring the light closer. Actually, it's kind of a glare. There you go. It's better. Well, yeah, I just want to get some detail in this thing before I click off. Everything else is just like laying it out. I like Jeeves, man. I think they're fun. I was thinking about getting one. But they're a ton of fun. And plus, anybody, has, anybody, anybody that I've ever met that has a Jeep is always just like a cool, like a cool person. Like, hey, let's do something fun because I have a Jeep. I'm like, yep, I like you. All right. So I'm doing this tire right here. I want to get the shape, so round it off right there. And it's kind of at a weird curved angle. I'm very conscious of that. Put 
putting the bolts in the little kind of soft round kind of uh, hubcap and so this is her Jeep that I'm drawing it's like her actual Jeep is like a caricature of it and Steve stitches in there and he's like just chilling and let me see he's actually waving oh, okay he's waving he gives a little arm right there his little arm and then add some fingers and he has one two four fingers okay okay dude you got four fingers and then he has another hand right here do that little kind of half a circle for the wheel like a little half a circle for the wheel And kind of mimic his hand right there. And whenever I get super into it, there's a detail, I'll get really close to the surface of the painting of the project or whatever I'm working on. Let me raise that up. That way I can really see what's going on. And then I'll step back and look at it. So if you see me do that, I'm really just like measuring it with my eyes. Let's see, so I'll bring that line in because it's actually too far out right there. And that's what it helps me do, like something that's like a perfect example of why I do that. All right. And then I think I'll come in with some white Actually, I know I will, so you guys can actually see some cool what's how it's looking. the rest of the wheel hey guys thanks for joining me uh right now if you're just checking me out i'm painting this stitch and uh it's uh, like a, inside the interior of a jeep wrangler uh i think it's like a 2014 or 20 something edition so i'm doing that doing the little kind of guard right here for the tire well cover the back's right there, and the Jeep comes up a little higher. That's cool. So, so see, I'm refining all of it as I go. Uh, the light's here, so let's go with that. And I'm gonna kind of erase it, and you'll see it. It's not really being erased, but it's getting painted over, and. Cool. Hey, what's up, Richard, man? How's it going, man? Thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. If you're just checking in uh, with me, I am doing a Jeep tie, uh, a Jeep inside part panel. It's gonna be like a Lilo and Stitch theme. I got Head Stitch out there, just chilling, waving. Doing that part. And they have like those big tread tires, so I'm gonna come up with white and kind of flesh out that tread. That's cool. And there are actually those little lights under here, so 
Yeah, that's cool. I didn't really notice that. Okay, so that's cool. So I have black, I'm gonna mix it in here. And I know it's a deeper black, but this is gonna be the, the kind of star, kind of starry night kind of theme. So throw that in there. Dusting over like that. All right, so that was looking really good. Make sure I don't drop that. Ta-da. Get rid of this black, tired of black. I want a prettier color. It's not working out, I'm sorry. All right, gone. Ah, that's so messed up. How oh, I did that black. Ah, good jokes. All right. So I want to go with a Bo, 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 bo. Stitch colors red. I think like a purple. That'll be cool. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this color. Let's do it. Magenta. Going back to magenta because magenta's never done me wrong. Get some personal problems I got. JK. All right. So I'm um, adding this color in here. It's getting a little dark right now, but that's cool. It's supposed to be the night. And Stitch is just, he's just, look at, look how happy Stitch is. He's just like had one hand waving, man. Like, living the life, man. In a Jeep, on the mountain. I'm getting jealous of him, man, for real. Over you. All right, that's good. Now I want to use some white, some Blanco. Donde esta mi Blanco? It's tan. I guess that would work. Oh, I had one. Okay. Found it. So I added some white and then I mix it with a little bit of that inner coat clear. Michelle, oh my god, that's awesome. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, if you're just joining me, yeah, I'm doing a Lilo and Stitch kind of uh, painting. Uh, this is in the inside of a Jeep Wrangler interior. So I don't know if anybody's a Disney fan. I think anybody, everyone has to be kind of a Disney fan. I love Disney. Uh, and that's why I kind of became an artist too. It's a part of it, uh, like Disney. Like everyone, every artist kind of has a little love for Disney, man. For real. So bam, there's the wolf. And actually, I don't know if you can see it, but he's like chilling up here, right? See? So I did the wolf right up there. And um, I want to put this, the nozzle cap on. And if anybody, uh, the airbrush guys are still watching me, uh, I'm gonna show you a quick trick. Everyone is a Disney fan. Yeah, I, I know, right? Like, if you don't love Disney, it's like I, someone that doesn't love pets or dogs or cats. I'm like, who doesn't love a cute dog or cat? Come on, man. I hate puppies. I hate Disney. Oh, okay. So I need to get my business card, believe it or not, wherever that thing is. Or uh, this will work. I need a hard piece, a piece of plastic or a hard piece of cardboard. And my friend John Downing in Vegas, he's a cool guy, he showed me this trick. When I asked him, he's kind enough to do that. And am I going to have to unplug my mic? Yo. Okay. So I'll bend this right here, right? I'll bend the plastic. And what it does is I bounce the white off of here. from a far distance, it kind of spritz it on. I 
And that creates a galaxy effect. There we go, some bigger dots right there. Bam. All right, so then I'm layering with smaller, finer dots, and then I add some bigger ones. Oh, well, maybe I'll put the galaxy. Maybe I'll put the galaxy in stitch because it kind of oversprayed, but whatever. So let me show this to you closer. Because see that? I did the wolf there, the stitch, and then I did the galaxy effect. Just a quick, simple effect, but it comes out so nice if you take your time and layer the right, you know, colors and all that stuff. So yeah, it's kind of hard to see on camera, you know, from further of a distance, but it looks super cool in person. All right. Now time to bring to life Stitch a little bit. Uh, let's go down here. That's cool. That'll work. A little bit of white. And it's shooting a little weird, so I'm gonna add some reducer. All right, hey, Jose, what's going on, man? Thanks, bro, thanks for dropping a comment and hanging out for a little bit. And just, you know, joining me, uh, like, you know, comment, share, all the good stuff, helps me get my work out there, appreciate it a ton. Um, I'm just adding little highlights right now. Want to clean the needle so it shoots out really good. <clears throat> Adding the front kind of crash bar. Hey, what's up, Paul? It's going, man. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me, guys. And if you're just checking me out, what I'm doing is a Lilo and Stitch kind of addition light uh, dash panel. It was like a glare, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was a little glare. It was like a dash panel for a Jeep. Makes this color up really good, really well. I'm gonna add a little more reducer. This is like a game balancing game, really. When you add like paint, reducer, all that stuff, you just gotta play with it and kind of learn what works for you.
you guys for joining me. Oh, uh, you work so inspiring. Hey, thanks, Paul, man. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks for uh, checking me out and hanging out with me for a little bit. Ear. I want to throw some little fluffiness to his ear, make him like super cute. Painting those little teeth in here. He's waving, man. Having a good time. I think he's gonna be more like Stitch, you know? Just chill, have a good time. Go with the flow. That's kind of what Stitch's like whole thing is, you know. He's just—he's on his chill, man. He goes. He, Stitch has found his chill, and he's owning it. <laughs> he's owning it. There's like a little bar up here. I'm slowing down. I move so fast and sometimes I just say my head slow down, man. Uh, the, you know, honestly, when I was in college for art, uh, my freshman year, my art teacher would always say that, man. He's like, you know, I was always one of the best in class, but he's like, dude, you got to slow down. And that's my hardest struggle as an artist. Do you ever uh, wear a respirator for all the fumes? Yeah. Um, when I'm not on camera, I always do that. And when I'm doing automotive, like um, clear and all that stuff, and I actually have a um, uh, something that you know, exhaust in here too. And that runs, it's like quiet though, you can't hear it. Yeah, I definitely recommend doing that. Little dashes right there. here and see this like so the, I'm gonna do like an idea that I think is cool I'm just gonna like beam the light out right from his Jeep the stitch is kind of kind of you know so dark man all right that's good that'll work And what I'm doing now is um, I'm looking inside my color cup so I can see the paint. Oh, Angie Martinez. Hey, all of your work and how far you've come. Oh, love. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, what's up, Todd? Thanks for joining me, man. I appreciate you coming and hanging out. I was waiting for you. I was like, where's Todd at? Love your work. Oh, thanks, Angie.
Whenever I get like really quiet, I'm super focused, or I feel like I need to fix something, so I get super quiet. And then I get back. When it's feeling good, I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's looking good, so I'll talk more. So I'm kind of outlining the Jeep a little more right here, just flushing it in. There we go, now it's coming together. Uh, do do. That's so cool. So now what I'm doing is I have the wolf, have that. I'm really just highlighting stuff now and going over it again. Coming in here and painting his teeth. I'm really slowing down right now. So I want to make sure I get the teeth in really nicely. And at the same time, I'm playing with the air pressure and cleaning off my uh, needle. Uh, so that's really important to keep uh, the really sharp detail and images on the image. Doing a little highlight on the side of the mountain. And I'll show you why real fast. So if you study light, um, you always know that there's like a little reflection on the light from one end. If you, you know, just kind of, just kind of like have a little, little thought about it right here. And uh, it's, it's super, super hard sometimes to try to do all of this and then remember what light goes here and light goes there. And I always like to think of a light source, and then I'll put it, so here's the moon, and it's gleaming over here, so everything's gonna glow this way with light, right? And do the hard highlight, and this is what really makes it pop too, and then fade it into like a white like mist of um, highlights. I can even throw some in here too, right? See how cool that works, and um, let's do a little uh, experiment right here. I'm gonna get a piece of paper. I don't want to tear that, but you know what? Let's do this. Perfect. This is perfect. Perfect example, right? So here's some rock, and then I can throw some rock there. So see, it's breaking up the image really nicely. little jagged like little kind of images and the details right here but it's really crunching in so you want to have the, the truck really like just mowing into the into the gravel hey guys 
Jenkins. Uh, Tiffany Jenkins. Good. Oh, go you. Oh, thanks, Tiffany. Sylvia, amazing work like always. Jason, James, cool. Tiffany, how do I share? Won't let me. Uh, there's a little button on the side. And maybe I, uh, it has to be, actually, it might have to be access first or posted or something. I'm not sure. But um, some, and some little kind of crackles of highlights to highlight all the cracks. And you can see that really cool. And I want to show you guys because I should have zoomed in more. Um, so adding like all that little, got the wolf up there. Stitch, chilling. Let's see, Let's see if that kills that glare. Like that, right? There's a glare from this end. So yeah, so this is cool crater, and he's kind of like in space, actually. You know what? Let's do that. You know, let's put him in space. He's the alien, isn't he? And what space without a couple of planets? Alright, let's get a little crazy with it. I want to look a little Saturn or something. Little Neptune, Pluto, all that stuff. Oh, Pluto's not a planet. Not anymore, sorry. Crap. There you go. That's cool. Jeep's in there. Planets are in there. Stitch is chilling. Having a good time. Alright, that's good. And I want to find the cap to this. And I'll show you something really cool. And I added all that white, right? So all that white's in there really good. Jose, I uh, love the artwork. Thanks, man. Jason, what is uh, what is you, what are you painting on? Okay, so if you're just joining me, my bad, I didn't explain. Uh, painting on a Jeep Wrangler, the inside where the glove compartment kind of comes off. And uh, the guy's customing the whole thing out. It looks super dope. I want to I want to, I can't wait to see it when it's done. But that's what I'm doing. So I want to throw some neon in here. Make some really neon pop colors. All right, that's good. Maybe some pink. That's for his daughter. So we'll make some girly colors, kind of. And then if you have here, right, the little lobo, the wolf. Now it's coming like some crazy, trippy effects. I add a little bit of purple. Give it your wolf colors, man. It's like your spirit wolf. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. I'm going to blow dry a little bit. Let that dry. Oh, I lost the blow dryer. Actually, let me zoom in the camera so you guys can see it a lot better. Let me do that real fast. Uh, bu -bu 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 audio, video, video controls. Okay, video, video. All right, there you go. So you can see it really good now. All right, guys, if you're really are you joining me right now, check it out. Check it out. I'm actually doing a custom Jeep Wrangler interior part for a car. So this is some cool automotive paint, something different. And uh, hey, I'm giving away a cool hat for uh, checking me out. Please check me out. Share, like, and drop a comment. 
So those are the three things you got to do. And then it's all gravy, baby. Come on, man. All right, so adding the whites. The final touches. Yeah, you know, I like giving away some of my stuff, man. I like it. I like people rocking it, you know? And uh, all these big corporations, will they give you like a keychain or some something stupid like that? Like, no, nah, that's gay. I want to, you know, really get my art out there. This wolf is like super pumped, man. This wolf, I mean, uh, see it like here. That's still like wolf energy, you know? An interesting fact about wolves. Wolves, hey, Daisy, hey babe, what's going on? Thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, what's interesting fact about wolves is uh, they're pack hunters, right? So the first wolf goes in for the kill and he's the first one to eat. And then the second and third in line. But there's like that one dominant wolf. It's really, really interesting how they, how they, how they live and all that. And also there is one wolf, I learned that yesterday at the zoo, for every 10 square miles you have one wolf pack. So if you have 10 square miles, you have one wolf pack. I read all the little things. I read all the little notes on there. I like doing that. When I'm at the zoo. I'm a nerd. All right. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I'm like doing lightning and I'm not even paying attention now for a minute. I kind of lost it. Uh, and then I looked up, I'm like, oh crap, did lightning and galaxies and, okay. Whatever, whatevs. I'm gonna brighten stitch up. I'm gonna do it. Ah, ba 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 ba. Todd, it's looking good. Thanks, Todd. I appreciate it. Uh, Jason's still trying to find a fire helmet to get painted. Paw Patrol for the kids. Hey, man, bring me, bring it to me, bro. I'll, I'll hook it up. Is this off the top of your head, or do you have a photo? Um, it's all top of my head. Some guy drew a picture. Hey, thanks, thanks, Mac, for joining me. Appreciate it, Seth. Uh, Dudu, Rodney, Jimbo, all you guys, Min, May. Um. But yeah, uh, pretty much uh, all this stuff I'm doing in the background, way, uh, it's off the top of my head, just messing around. Uh, the Jeep, uh, I had a picture of a Jeep that they brought me, and uh, actually the, the guy that's doing it, he gave me a concept sketch, so I want to show you that real fast. He kind of drew this out. Do, do, do. Yeah. So... I'll have to rewatch when I'm done. Oh, yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, definitely. I have it saved, Todd, so just uh, 
And actually, this is a little longer than I thought it would be. So yeah, rewatch it when you got the time. No, no biggie. If you have any questions too, man, inbox me. Uh, uh, so if you you know missed anything, um, you know I'll answer no problem. Stitch is so cool. I know that's what I said, right? He's like just chilling. He's like his arms out. And he's like, you know, he's just like having a good time, man. I just want to be as cool as Stitch. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm so silly. Uh, so now I'm adding some more lightning. And I know this is supposed to be mountain, but now it's like some crazy cloud thing, and the wolf's up there. And maybe I'll throw another wolf in there. Where's he at? Where'd you go, wolf? Somewhere around here. I'm gonna throw him in there. He's hiding. Okay, well, one wolf is enough. I can't find him. Uh, so I'm going to go over in black. That's important. And then I really want to bring those blues back because I want to, I want Stitch to really pop. And I don't want to mess up in that, miss that out. So I'm going to clean out this airbrush and add a really nice bright blue in here. Um, and I'll flush it with some like, reducer real fast. Jason Stitch is my second favorite next to Donald Duck. Oh, okay, Donald fan, man. All right, that's cool. Who do I like as a character? Um, I like the Beast because he's kind of a jerk, but he's a nice guy. Like kind of, kind of like he's like you know two personalities. Sometimes I feel like I can relate to that. Um, I don't know. I like you know I like the bad guy. I like the like anti heroes kind of too. So. I don't know, I like Scar and all these bad guys, I don't know. I right, they're different, I guess. Oh, did I? Is by my computer? Yeah, it might be somewhere. I think I dropped it. All right, so this blue is coming really bright now. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for joining me. If you're joining me, I'm doing a custom painted Lilo and Stitch by design. All right, so he's super blue. What about that glare? Lights there. Bring back the blue here to tone it down so it doesn't take away from the painting. And put little shades in there. And his hand is blue right here. Um, and I'll do one more thing too before I go. Uh, what are you making? Uh, I'm making a Lilo and Stitch uh, inside of a panel for a Jeep Wrangler. So that's what I'm working on right now. All right, so I'm testing this out. So what I did is uh, off camera, off the side, I mixed a blue, like a really light blue with a white. Now watch this mix up. It'll pop really nice now. There's a little fur. Maybe I need more white to it. We'll see. No, I think that's pretty decent actually. You know, I'm yeah, right here.
There you go. Stitches. I think I want a little more blue, like a darker blue. Alright, cool. So I'm mixing it inside the color cup. Hey guys, uh, what's up Jason? <laughs> Still watching Tom and Jerry, nice. Not much, uh, let's go, okay. Nice. So, adding more of that blue. I think I'm pretty good. I just need to like go back and uh, finish the, hi the, the highlights. Actually, I have a lot of highlights. I wanna darken it up and um, just bring back the sharp edges. So actually, I like this color, actually. I'm gonna do more of this in the mountains. Oh, found the wolf. Oh, I found him, found her. Why does it always gotta be a guy? Why can't it be a, a woman, girl, right? Well, let's ah. Sipping. All right. <laughs> All right. So now I'm adding a little bit of the shape of the wolf here. And actually, that'll be perfect right here. I think that'll be sick. the wolf is like doing the wolf call all right that's cool I don't know if I need any more other colors to it I think I'm really doing good with the colors now trippy okay so yeah I'm just gonna come in outline outline with black and I think it should be pretty good oh hey Deanna hey thanks appreciate it uh, stitch aqua color then blue. Yeah, so he's at aqua and I kind of have You know what? That's a good idea Todd. Cause you know what? Maybe turn him a little more towards the aqua Indiana. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Todd, I really like that awkward. I think you're onto something right there. Yeah, definitely are. So now I'm adding aqua. Du -du -du -du. I'll leave this side uh, pink, and then this will be like a more dominant side, aqua with the wolf. I like that idea because it's like, uh, this is a different side, and this is like the warm kind of fuzzy girly side, and this is like the, the into the unknown side, right? Hey Diego, remember when you painted a shirt for my Chrissy and Danny Squires? Oh yeah, I know them, they're really good people. Put their son away, the daughters came in RF. Me and Chrissy we were just talking about it. My shirt tonight was the Dusty Moore. I'll have to read that in a minute. But yeah, man. I went to high school with uh, both of them. Really cool. Danny's really nice guy. Really good guy. Uh, All right. I don't. Black is the last color. Not really fun color. So I'm just having a little fun first. I don't know, man. You guys got to try airbrushing. Even if you're not an airbrush artist, this stuff is fun. For real. 
just for something just I think I might do some uh, stuff locally too if any of you guys want to be part of it I'll let you know just kind of do some little class or something maybe all right Uh, he made a Hulk shirt for Caden's birthday when he worked at the mall. Chrissy is my baby sister. Oh, okay. Oh, no way. Yeah. She's cool. Like, she's really super, super cool, down to earth, nice person. Oh, and black. And then I'm going to sharpen it all up, and then it won't be so fuzzy anymore. And then what I want to do is mix some of this, uh, and I use a lot of it. And so yeah, Todd too, if you're still watching, charge some of this inner coat clear, man. I recommend it. Uh, firefighter, oh, did you? And the firefighter shirt for me, the devil looking over the, oh man, yeah, I forgot about that, bro. That's awesome. You still got that? Good night, we should try to go out Saturday for free. Uh, it's, what did you do? We're walking where the devil dances. Huh, that's awesome. All right, see you guys. Uh, all right yeah thanks for joining me thanks for joining me Deanna I appreciate it and Jason thanks for chilling with me I'm almost done some more just I want to add a little bit of reducer so I get these lines super nice and crisp and I think that's it we'll just end it there and then I'll clear it of course oh hey what's up Todd oh yeah I was saying you should check out some of this uh, this is like the 430 uh, clear by Createx it's like an inner coat clear and what it does is when you're doing objects like this it it helps your uh, airbrushes shoot smoother. So even if you're doing t-shirts, you know, it'll help out uh, if the color is not like shooting smooth. Cool. So black, all that color, and maybe bring back the ah, uh, the red, and then I'm good. That's it. Maybe I'll do that off camera, probably. Uh, I love it, uh, dude. Thanks, man. Thank you. Good job. It's something to me. Awesome. I want to clean out my color and then add bread for the last part. Uh, looks like the headlights are, are lighting up some gases on the planet. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for, man. I appreciate it. That's kind of like a trend I was going for.
Well, you have pulled it off with flying colors as usual. Oh, thanks, Jason. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man, let me know when you guys got some firefighter stuff going on, too. Uh, if you know. If you have any events or anything, dude, I appreciate it. That helps me out. Bring back some of that magenta. And that's good, man. I'm going to think I'm good right there. I'm pretty positive, yeah. Oh, uh, what did you do? Black. Uh, you know what? White. Let me do that white again. I have this gun that I should be using, and I forget about it, but it's all white, and I don't have to dilute the color or anything, and that's another tip. Don't fall. Don't fall. I'm doing all the little highlights. I got super quiet, my bad, but I really wanted to focus on this. <clears throat> focus on that part right there. Those little parts. Nice colors, Jesse Rogers. Hey, thanks. Thank you, man. Thank you. I mean, Jesse. Uh, Tillman. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while, dude. How, how's it going? College days. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I have a separate gun, uh, the water eclipse, and then I'm, I'm coming in here and doing the highlights, all white, that's non-diluted. And I like using a wada because it's really precise. So I'll have one Iwata that's white and one that's black, 
uh, that's uh, clips. They're expensive, but uh, for the detail and things like this, uh, they're priceless, you know, for real, to do all that. But that's just my, you know, my preference. So adding the white down there and I'm really kind of, I get the glare, I can see it, okay, block it. So that's good. Um, I don't know if I want to draw, no, I'm going to leave it without the specs. I think, I think I'll do that. Um, let me see, you know what, let me add a couple more. If I can get really close and I, and I don't have to go over it, it'll work. I know Todd, you're asking about effects. So what I have here is a piece of cardboard. Like uh, I use a business card, I use my business card, and I bend it, and then I bounce off the paint from the cardboard to the um, surface I'm painting on. Like that, a little one right there. A little one right there, like these little, little planets. That. I don't want to do too much of it and I don't want to overdo it, but so so yeah, let me step back right now and uh, so thank you guys, thank all of you for joining me and checking me out. I want to show you real fast up front, up close. Just have light on this thing. So. I added stitch in there, and there's like a galaxy effect. I have a, like a wolf at the bottom, and if you look up here, there's actually a wolf up top. And all that stuff, so did a galaxy, Lilo, and stitch. Well, there's not Lilo, sorry, she's gone. She ain't in there, it's all stitch. And this is the panel, so this is uh, the panel for the, you know, inside of a dashboard right there. And it kind of goes in like that and snaps in and comes out like that. And I have to, now I have to do is clear coat it all and then make a nice shine and all the colors will come out deep and vibrant and you'll see everything. It's a little dull now, but that's okay because when I clear it, all those colors are just going to pop out. And uh, I'll show you guys that, you know, when I post a picture when I'm done. Yeah, yeah, it looks like leather, um, and you know, it pretty much added a binder that you know binds it to the fabric that bends. It's a adhesion promoter. So, uh, you know, if any of you have any questions, the white makes it pop. Oh, yeah, exactly, Todd. So, like, the, that's the last step too, adding the white highlights here, here, and here, and uh, that really makes it pop. So, actually, let me uh, sign it too before I get out of here. Oh, so I don't forget, and I know I always forget to do that. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, Jason, looks like leather. Let me sign it real fast. Uh, corner. My crappy signature, that's so bad.
Oh god, I just have to work on my signature, man. I didn't paint anything, but my signature sucks. All right. It's all done, man. Thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions, uh, any airbrush guys too watching me, uh, inbox me. And uh, you know, if you couldn't make the channel or you couldn't join it, but you see it again, just ask me. I'll always feel free to answer all your questions, man. And uh, check me out again. I appreciate it. I'm out of here. I'm gonna clear coat it, and I'm gonna chill out. All right. Thanks for joining me, guys. Later.